Okay, welcome back. Um, let's see, hello. First, uh, today, I know it's been a while since I last did anything, IT, so yeah, what's happening now is that you know, I've got this laptop here. Uh, the problem is with the keyboard and the uh, parts just arrived. And yeah, the most important thing about you know, getting parts for this type of keyboard is uh, before purchasing online, is make sure you get the model number correct. Okay? The best way of uh, looking at it is actually is uh, if you can probably it's on your desktop or your laptop or do a b-roll later on this um, yeah on your laptop it will show what uh, model number and stuff like that so yeah so I'm gonna open up uh, the Novo G405 uh, today and I'm gonna replace the keyboard so yeah this is how you do that so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, probably the best one is uh, of course you have to remove the battery uh, this one is just basically just to prevent shorts and all that and you can see here uh, yeah this is your typical if you can see uh, normally if you can uh, if your laptop has it let me see if you can zoom in here okay. yeah, you can see here there's the all the part number and stuff like that so this is very important um, especially when you want to source parts online so for the Lenovo uh, normally you can see the screws are here Right, so yeah, there's two screws there. Uh, let me try and get it out first. Alright, in my trusty screwdriver. So, hopefully. so initially I wanted to actually do this live stream, but yeah, uh, this kind of mine uh, needs it to be fast, so yeah. I thought I was thinking of one once the parts arrive and things like that, I could do it in night, but uh, she needs the laptop quite fast so yeah plus the tweezers down this so basically there's two screws here okay once you have that done so you can easily like uh, you can easily slide it out actually from here now Slide it up. Okay. Alright. So this is how inside a Lenovo looks, as you can see. Now, for this case, so here I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm going to show it to you. So on your on the new keyboard, there's actually three pins here. All right. Um, so yeah. Here, if you can see, let me try and zoom it. So actually. Uh, I noticed the good thing about Lenovo is that they actually label it so you don't have to yeah. there's one there okay and then there's another one here if there's something here there's a keyboard here and then there's another one right here at this corner here so the pen so yeah just unscrew those three out right uh, sorry I think I have to record this is what I should be like. Anyway, so once I remove the three screws here, one, two, and three, it's time to flip this over. Okay, it's quite easy for this one. Um, yeah, and then just open it up. Okay, here, just bring the keyboard first. You can see, notice that the top here, there's nothing, and normally the locks are at the bottom here. So if you have. What I normally do is I'll use my trusty old tweezer, which is sharp. I love it. Okay, just gently lift it up. You can gently lift it up from here. Okay. All right. So once this is done, now here there's always the cable here. Uh, do be careful with this. Okay. Um, I'm not sure you can see it. So, you can see this. You can see this. You can see the cable ribbon there. Let me zoom that in for you. Alright. So, you can actually just uh, flip it up. This out first, in a way. Just flip this corner up. And 
and just lift it up. That's it. That's all you need to do. So the previous problem was actually the B is not working in some of the other keys. So this is the original one. Okay. Now I'm gonna put in a new one. put everything back uh, what normally do is just put in the battery and then we'll just test it out just to make sure that everything works put the battery in first some time. Oh. I'm gonna cut it here with the ones we put in with this you know. Alright so we are booted in now so first test we just have to make sure that all the keys are running as you can see seems to work so far. Okay. Boom, okay. Tap. All the keys seems to be working. Enter. Slot. Okay, and then shift. B is working ready. Yeah, space. Down, left, right. Okay, and then mm -hmm. by right you should be working with this as page up. Can't push down. So you can push down. Page up. Yeah, page up is working. Page down. Yep. Working, control A, delete. Yeah. Delete works. So yeah, escape F1, F2. Hmm. Interesting. Should be able to. So yeah, keyboard works. So window key. Wow, alternate. Yes, works, menu key, control hit, here. So, yeah, keyboard. Yeah. Keyboard is working fine right now, yeah. So, yeah, simple fix. So once you tested everything, it's time to put it back. Yeah. That's pretty much about it. That's how you fix or uh, replace a keyboard and things like that. Anyway, I'm um, gonna close it all up now and then just let you know that this laptop is ready to be connected. So, yeah, for Lenovo, I find that they have actually, or IBM actually, uh, these are the few laptops which I really love you know, to pay in a sense that because it's easier to fix as compared to Asus. Or Acer, you know, especially in replacing parts, and then you can actually get the parts is quite easily now. That's all for now. So I hope you guys learned something. Replacing a keyboard is not so difficult, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.